So we're going to begin a discussion of energy. So energy, as you're going to see this term, is incredibly important in chemistry. It's going to permeate almost everything that we discuss. Right? So energy is important in thinking about how atoms stay together. Right? So how protons, neutrons, and electrons combine together to form an atom. It's important in thinking about how atoms come together to form molecules, how covalent bonds form. It's important in thinking about how molecules stick together to form solids or liquids. It's important in thinking about chemical reactions and why some chemical reactions are hot and some chemical reactions are cold. Why some chemical reactions happen and why some chemical reactions don't. So this idea of energy is absolutely everywhere in chemistry. Okay, so in this video, my goal is to simply introduce you to some of the really important concepts of energy. And a lot of this, I hope, is review, but I'm going to introduce it anyway, hoping to give you a new perspective um, so that maybe you understand it a little bit better. All right, so let's start off by defining two terms. We have potential energy. and we have kinetic energy. All right, so in the simplest terms, potential energy is stored energy. Kinetic energy is simply energy that's currently being used. So this is energy being used. All right, so let's think about this from the perspective of something that will make a lot of sense, I hope. All right, so if we have steps, all right, so we have two steps here, okay? If we have an object that starts on the bottom step, all right, so we have a rock that's sitting on the bottom step, okay, and we want to move this rock up to the next step. To do that requires energy. And the process of moving this rock up to the second step is kinetic energy. So this is energy being used. We are giving this rock energy to move it up to a higher step. If we want to move it even higher, it's going to take even more kinetic energy. Right? But there's this idea that energy absolutely must be conserved. Okay, we're going to learn later in, uh, that that's called the first law of thermodynamics. But energy absolutely must be conserved. It's an absolute law of, of physics. So if we are giving this rock energy to move it up, right, so to move it from this position to this position, we are giving that rock energy in the form of kinetic energy, then once this rock is at this second position, that energy is now stored by the rock. So once it's at this, at this second step, it now has potential energy. Okay, so the energy that we gave the rock to move it to a higher step is now being stored in the form of potential energy. So this rock now has the potential to release energy if it were to drop back down to the first step. Okay, and if it moves down to the first step, then it releases that energy as kinetic energy. So if it moves up, we give it energy as it moves, and it stores that energy as potential. If we move up again, again, it, the energy that it takes to move that rock up is kinetic energy, and that energy is stored in the rock as potential energy. If we were to move the rock down, right, so when the rock moves down, we decrease its potential energy, and the amount of potential energy we've decreased is the same as the kinetic energy that leaves the rock. Okay, so the rock moving is kinetic energy. The rock standing still, holding onto some energy, is potential energy. Okay, and if you keep these two ideas in mind, we're going to see that um, 
they that that this idea, this analogy of rocks moving up steps, and the idea of potential energy and kinetic energy will become really important as we start thinking about how electrons interact with atoms, interact with the nucleus of atoms. But before we do that, we need to introduce some different forms of potential and kinetic energy. So in the next video, we're going to think about defining some different mathematical um, explanations of potential energy for chemistry and kinetic energy for chemistry. And then we're going to take those ideas and move them on to thinking about how electrons interact with the nucleus of atoms.